My twins are looking a little bit lonely in this picture. Let's go ahead and add the evil Ultron to our scene. Let's grab our files from Empower and click and drag the Ultron JPEG into the project. The first thing you're going to notice about our Ultron picture is it has an ugly white background around it. Our twins didn't have this because I have already removed the background from this image for you. Most images that you find, and certainly any photos that you take yourself, will have some sort of a background on them that you'll have to remove in order to place them into a scene like this one. There are a couple of tools we can choose from to remove Ultron's background. <clears throat> when the background is as simple as this one, the best tool is probably the magic wand tool. With the magic wand tool, I simply click and press delete to remove any instance of that one color that is uninterrupted by another color. Pretty easy. If I want to remove all of one color from an image, I'll use the Select Color Range tool. In this, with the Select Color Range tool, I can select any color that I want using the eyedropper and slide the fuzziness scale to determine the tolerance of my color selector. If it's really low, it'll only select that exact color. If the fuzziness is high, it will select that color and a rising degree of similar colors. Finally, I can use the pen tool to select. The pen tool is a great tool when the background is more complicated because it allows us to select any area that we wish. Now, the pen tool is a very complicated beast. It's going to take some practice to get used to. To use the pen tool, simply click and drag to create curves. Hold down the Alt key to manipulate the handles on your curves. Don't be discouraged if the pen tool takes you a few tries to get used to. It's not easy, but with practice you can become a master. Once we've made our selection, let's delete the background and place Ultron in our scene. The first thing I want to do is make him smaller so that the perspective makes sense and position him towards the back of our scene. You'll notice one problem. Ultron is still in front of our twins in this picture. To move him to the background, I'll simply go to my Layers panel and select the Ultron layer. I click and drag to move him beneath the twins. And there we go. Ultron has successfully been moved to the background.